Welcome to Gear Gabbers. Today we are going to review the Magback wireless charger. This goes right on the side of your screen in your Model Y or your Model 3. I've been really looking for something like this uh, for quite some time. I, I really don't like this charging setup in the Model Y. It's one of my few gripes about the car. It, if the phone is down in the charger, it cuts off the top of the screen, so it's really hard to see the full screen of the phone. And also, your uh, face ID does not, you won't recognize your face, so the phone won't unlock. I find myself typing in my passcode while I'm driving to try and unlock the phone, which is not ideal. And so I've been looking for a phone charger solution that would get the phone up in my field of vision, also let Face ID to work on the phone so the phone will stay unlocked in case I'm using a map or drive, trying to use something on the iPhone while I'm driving since there's not a really great integration with the phone into the screen on um, the Model Y, you can't, or the Model 3, you can uh, control certain things, but I won't go into that. But I did want it up in my visible range and to be able to use Face ID with the phone. Also, I found myself, if I wanted to plug the phone in, it would sit on my center console, uh, not in the charging bay, but on my center console, which is not ideal either. So. I've been looking for something. I saw the Magback. You probably have seen it on Instagram. They advertise a ton, 99 bucks, which was kind of expensive. I went over to Amazon to see if I could find it to read the reviews to make sure uh, I knew what I was getting into since it was a hundred bucks. Um, they don't sell it on Amazon, so you have to buy direct from the site. So I figured I'd give you guys a review. I am. This is not a paid review. I bought this myself, uh, but I really like the product. It gets the phone uh, just to the left of my steering wheel, cuts off just a little tiny corner. In uh, vertical mode, you can see all of the controls on the screen still, which is uh, a nice benefit. And so it doesn't block your screen. It's made really well out of uh, aluminum on the back, and then it's got a nice soft uh, uh, plastic uh, silicone type covering on the front of it. Um, I went ahead and bought the case too. I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max. The case has a much stronger magnet in the back of it. My Apple case had kind of bit the dust, so I went ahead and got the case too. Glad I did. It sticks really, really well. With this case comes two of these um, really strong magnets with an adhesive back. So I stuck one in my golf cart and I'll stick one in our other car so that the case can uh, be used in those locations. And then I kept my Apple wallet, which works really, really great with the Magback case. So my Apple wallet sticks to the back, probably much stronger than the original Apple case. And I didn't care for the Magback case. It looked a little bit more bulky. Uh, I like the slim nature of this Apple uh, wallet. So it works great with that. The charger also comes with a uh, 30 amp or 30 watt, sorry, uh, USB-C little cigarette style uh, charger to plug it into. The cable on the charger uh, is long enough to kind of tuck it behind your screen, tuck it into the center console, and then run it back to under your armrest to charge. So I did that. I didn't spend a bunch of time with it. There might be a slicker way to do it, but it's pretty out of the way, pretty hidden. Uh, if you have an idea on how to do that and get it into the front compartment, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Uh, I, if I spent a little more time with it, I could probably figure it out. Might have to drill a hole somewhere uh, to get it through and take more of it apart. But this worked for now. The, it looks like they designed the cable to be long enough to run from kind of behind your screen, kind of tucked out of the way into the center console. But uh, the... It, it's very well made. I, you know, again, I was a little bit worried because I couldn't, uh, the only reviews were on the website, the manufacturer's website, but um, uh, it's very well made. The cord is very well made. The charger works well. It works in portrait mode or uh, in um, vertical mode, the charger does. Face ID, I have noticed in portrait mode, doesn't work as well as when it's in vertical mode, but no problems with face ID from where I'm sitting in the car to um, uh, get the phone unlocked automatically when it's on the charger. 
I did notice it's kind of cool too. You can actually film video out your front windshield when the phone is on the charger, uh, which is kind of nice if you ever needed that. You've obviously got the Tesla dash cam that you can activate through your horn or by pushing a button on the screen. Uh, but very nice to actually be able to shoot some video. I'm actually shooting this video with the phone on the holder right now in landscape mode, uh, which looks uh, good in my opinion. So if you were sitting in the car and FaceTiming and you had it on um, the stand, it would look just fine. And uh, you're able to see your face from behind the steering wheel. My big concerns was that in vertical mode that the phone might block the logos or whether it was in park or not, but it just sits just to the side of that. And for my driving position, only a small portion of the phone is um, covered by the steering wheel. So uh, I really well designed, really solved all my problems that I was looking at in terms of not really liking the phone down um, because I couldn't use Face ID and I, I didn't like looking down that low. Wanted it up and more in my field of vision. So if I was using a second map um, and then wireless charging along with that so I didn't have to worry about uh, fumbling with a cord while it was on the side of the screen. So what I would tell you is when you install it, Practice a couple times with the adhesive still on it, just placing it exactly where you want it. And then you can peel that adhesive off and just put it, it'll just be a little bit more natural because you'll get kind of in position just to set it exactly where it belongs. And then I just held the back for a, a couple minutes just to make sure it had a really nice strong bond. That thing is on there and I do not worry about the phone coming off while I'm driving if you hit uh, even even the most severe bumps, this thing is not coming off the holder. One of the my beefs with a lot of phone chargers or phone holders with the bigger iPhone 12 Pro Max or the 13 that those phone, phones are heavier and they can bounce off of mounts in those things or the mounts sometimes aren't strong enough to hold the full weight of those phones. This one has got that thing locked on there. It is not going anywhere. So once it's on the charger, it is on the charger. So good product, again, not a paid review, but I thought um, if you're like me, where you like to go to Amazon and read reviews, especially if you're buying something that's as expensive as this, uh, that you, you guys might want the review of it. I like the phone case, it's a soft silicone, goes great with this product. And so I highly recommend it. It solved all my problems. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.